When Chicago PD season 12 premieres, intelligence is busy solving crimes left and right, but one member is conspicuously absent, Officer Kim Burgess. Throughout the whole episode, Marina Scorciati's character is nowhere to be seen. On the Chicago Police Season 12 opener, however, Sergeant Hank Veit, Officers Kevin Atwater, Adam Ruzek, Dante Torres, and rookie Detective Emily Martell are tasked with managing the influx of cases coming in and out of the 21st District. After Voight's near-death experience and Detective Haley Upton's departure in the Chicago Police Season 11 finale, the intelligence unit members are keeping themselves occupied. Voight, however, is keeping everyone occupied in order to escape his own problems. It's obvious that Voight isn't managing his recuperation, Upton's departure, or the deathbed hallucinations of Alvin Olinsky very well. Regretfully, Voight is also lacking one of his senior commanders during this entire ordeal. 1099, the first episode of Chicago PD Season 12 opens with Ruzek giving the audience a hint as to where Burgess is going to be. Due to her attendance at a Nali National Association of Women Law Enforcement Executives Convention, Burgess is not in Chicago or at the intelligence unit Atwater calls his fiancé and inquires about Burgess's progress at the conference. The audience isn't given much more information beyond that, and it's regrettably unknown when or for how long Marina Scorciati's one Chicago persona will return to Chicago PD. But Ruzek tells Atwater and Martell that Burgess may be thinking of going back to Chicago early. She is probably interested in returning to intelligence to continue helping since she learned about their heavy caseload. However, it appears that Burgess is not persuaded to come back early, or Ruzek convinces her to stay at the conference and reassures her they can manage it. Thus, Scorciati does not make an appearance in the One Chicago TV Show Season 12 premiere. During the Chicago PD episode, it is unclear exactly why Burgess is absent at a meeting and not assisting intelligence with their excessive caseload. It's never made clear to viewers whether Burgess accepted the invitation or not. Martell makes the observation that Burgess ought to remain since the Chicago Police Department would like it. Thus, Burgess may be attending this conference on behalf of the CPD. She would therefore play a meaningful and logical function there. Nevertheless, Burgess's colleagues are overflowing with heartbreaking instances that they may benefit from her assistance with. A fact Void is mostly to blame for the issue with intelligence's workload. It's him who is keeping himself occupied with work. Void's activities are therefore having a direct impact on his team's capacity to resolve the numerous situations that come across their desks. Hopefully that will alter in the future, allowing Burgess to return to a more subdued intelligence unit in Season 12 of Chicago Police. The good news is that Burgess won't be gone from Chicago for very long especially in light of the terrible conclusion of the Chicago PD Season 12 premiere. She reappears in Off Switch Episode 3. Although Marina Scorciati's reason for not reprising her part in the first episode is unclear, she is not one of the performers from One Chicago who will not be back in 2024. Thus, in Episode 3, viewers will witness Burgess return to action. Meetings usually don't last that long and following Martell's passing, Burgess would surely want to support her fiancé. As Ruzek and Martell are traveling at the conclusion of Chicago PD Season 12, Episode 1, they hear gunshots. After exiting the vehicle, the two characters who went to the police school together draw their weapons and search for the gunman. Ruzik manages to hide behind a vehicle, but when the gunfire recurs, Martel is not as fortunate. Glancing back, Ruzik discovers Martel on the ground, her skull shot through. Ruzik's grief at Martel's passing would surely be felt deeply, and in Chicago PD Season 12, Burgess ought to be there to console him.